Hi friends and welcome to the Adda 247's Hindu editorial session. My dear friends, as you guys know, this is the third session of the Hindu Editorial Reloaded and we are going to analyze a lot of things here. Two of the most important articles that got printed in today's the Hindu Editorial. With that, my dear friends, we will also practice comprehension of questions and we will also practice a parajambal. We will also learn new words and then we will also have a quiz on of vocabulary as well. With that, my dear friends, we will also take a look at the other important articles that got printed in today's the Hindu. So, Let's start the session and can we please have the first very important article. Now, here's the first very important article. It's the recalcitrant judge. Now, by the way, you know that Calcutta High Court is a judge and there was a lot of warm and warm and warm and Supreme Court. So, there was, uh, you know, there was war going on between the Calcutta High Court judge versus the Supreme Court judges, which included the judge, which included the CJI, by the way. Now, what is this all matter? What is the matter all about? Let's take a look at the first slide. Now, it's, it is a singularly unfortunate, it's sing, it is a, actually it's very unfortunate, it's singularly unfortunate that the Supreme Court's efforts to discipline Justice C.S. Karnan of the Calcutta High Court has to end in a six-month prison term for contempt, that is insult of the court. अब देखा जाए कि बहुत ही ज्यादा दुख की बात है ये बहुत दुखद घटना है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट अल्टीमेटली देखो क्या है भाई जो आपके ये बेसिकली जस्टिस हैं सीएस करनान ऑफ कलकत्ता हाई कोर्ट ये अलग इनके खिलाफ बहुत सारे चार्जेस थे करप्शन वगैरह के तो इनके भाई इनको बोला क्या कि आप अपने आप को पेश करिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट में लेकिन इन्होंने अल्टीमेटली ये अब ये कहने लगे कि भाई देखो मैं दलित हूँ इस चक्कर में सुप्रीम कोर्ट जो है मेरी इंसल्ट करना चाह रहा है और वगैरह वगैरह फिर इनके बीच में और सुप्रीम कोर्ट जज के बीच में लगातार कोर्ट एकदम कोर्ट वाली वॉर स्टार्ट हो गई उसके बाद अल्टीमेटली फिर सुप्रीम कोर्ट को जो है इनको फाइनली बिल्कुल अनुशासन में लाने के लिए ये करना पड़ा कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बोल दिया कि आपको छः महीने की सजा सुनाई जाती है एंड he has to, in fact, he will be put into jail right away. Okay, so this is what the Supreme Court has said. So, you know, it was very unfortunate that a war, by the way, broke out, in fact, between the Supreme Court judges versus a high court judge called, a Calcutta high court judge called C.S. Karnan. So, ultimately, there were a lot of corruption charges and, you know, other charges against this particular justice. The Supreme Court had asked him to present himself in the Supreme Court. But then again, you know, this uh, guy, by the way, this Supreme, this High Court judge took the matter into his own hands and he started a war of uh, orders against the Supreme Court judges and ultimately to discipline him, the Supreme Court had to pass the order of his jail term of six months and he had to be jailed immediately for six months. Well, now it's actually very unfortunate that, you know, that the Supreme Court has to issue an order against a High Court judge. Well, uh, let's just take a look over here. See, the thing is now, ab aisa kyo hua? why was that good? Why was this particular judge got, you know, why uh, was this particular judge, uh, what do you say, sent to jail? That also, well, that's a very important thing. With the recalcitrant or uncooperative uh, judge making it a habit to bring the institution into ridicule or mockery by his aberrant or abnormal behavior, the court probably had few options but to act in defense of its reputation by holding him guilty of contempt of court, a finding that is unexceptional. एक्सेप्शनेबल अब भाई देखा जाए अल्टीमेटली तो बार बार जो है अपने आ, कह सकते हैं अपने ऑर्डर्स के जरिए अपने सीएस करनान ने अपने ऑर्डर्स के जरिए बार बार जो है खिल्ली उड़ा देते थे वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जजेस के फॉर एग्जांपल सबसे पहले सीएस करनान को जब बोला गया कि आप खुद को हाजिर करिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट में तो उल्टा उन्होंने जो है ये बोल दिया कि ये लोग मेरा दलित होने का जो है जो है फायदा उठा रहे हैं ये लोग मेरा दलित होने का मजाक बना रहे हैं और कुछ दिनों के बाद इन्हों उन्होंने सेवन सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस इंक्लूडिंग चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया को ये बोल दिया कि आप खुद को प्रेजेंट करिए मेरे सामने कलकत्ता हाई कोर्ट में और मुझको ये बताइए कि मैं आप लोगों को क्यों दलित अट्रोसिटीज एक्ट के तहत जो है क्यों आपको खिलाफ कार्रवाई ना करूं ठीक है भाई तो पहली बात तो ये उसके बाद फिर सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये कहा कि शायद आ, इनकी मानसिक अवस्था सही नहीं है तो इनकी मानसिक जांच करे जाए ये जब कहा तो सीएस एस करनान ने ये बोल दिया पहली बात तो कि वेस्ट बंगाल के जो डीजीपी जी है अगर उन्होंने हिम्मत करी ऐसा कुछ करवाने की तो मैं उसको सस्पेंड कर दूंगा और साथ ही में माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इन्होंने बेसिकली जो सी एस भाई साहब थे इन्होंने क्या किया इन्होंने पाँच साल की जे रिगरस जेल टर्म पास कर दी पाँच साल की रिगरस जेल कर दी किसको सेवन सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस को इंक्लूडिंग द सी जे 
जस्टिस के हार और राइट माइडियर फ्रेंड्स एंड साथ ही मैंने ये भी कहा कि इन सभी सेवन सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस के ऊपर जो है एक लाख की पेनल्टी भी लगाई जाती है फॉर एस सी एस टी एट्रोसिटीज एक्ट ठीक है भाई एंड अल्टीमेटली भाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट को फाइनली अपना अपर हैंड दिखाने के लिए अपने ऑनर को डिफेंड करने के लिए इनको सिक्स मंथ्स की जेल इमीजिएटली भेजने का ऑर्डर देना पड़ा ओके सो बाय द वेन यू नो Mr. Justice, what do you say? Justice C.S. Karnan was extremely defiant in his behavior. He was asked again and again by the Supreme Court to present himself in the Supreme Court and defend the charges against him, but he got very uncooperative. And in fact, he opened a new, he opened a totally new, uh, what do you say? Agenda and he started uh, what do you say? He started passing orders against Supreme Court judges, and he finally he even and finally when he ordered a jail term, in fact five year jail term to each of the seven judges of the Supreme Court, including uh, what do you say? Imposing a penalty of one lakh on each of the Supreme Court judges, which actually sentenced him to present himself. Then ultimately, finally, the Supreme Court to defend his its honor had to pass. a uh, term or uh, basically had to pass an order of 6 year jail term to justice cs karnan besides you know totally taking away his power i hope my dear friends ki itna samajh mein aa gaya hoga itna thik thak baith gaya hoga ab aage bhi hum log thik thak baithate hain ab dekho next part mein diya hai he had not only flung or threw irresponsible charges of corruption against seven several judges but also sought to make political capital out of his dalit identity to dekha jaye ultimately to jo cs karnan the inhone jo hai bahut hi irresponsible tarike se bahut hi keh sakte hain aap matlab galat carelessly jo hai inhone corruption ke charges aur dalit atrocities ke charges laga diye the so supreme court ke judges ke upar all right you know so uh, mr justice uh, cs karnan very irresponsibly you know he actually uh, what do you say levied charges of corruption and you know dalit atrocities against the seven against the seven supreme court judges all right in fact and he also tried to play the dalit card politically aur sath hi unhone basically apne dalit hone ka fayda uthana chaha political tarike se bhi now he had repeatedly sought to pass purported or pretended judicial orders in his own cause his arrest undoubtedly will mark an abs- will mark an absolutely or that is you know very bad way or in fact a very uh, what do you say infinitely low moment in the country's judicial history ab dekha jaye bhai तो अब साथ ही में इनफैक्ट इन्होंने क्या किया इन्होंने ना केवल चार्ज लगाया बल्कि अब मतलब खुद ही अपने ही केस में ये खुद ही जज भी बन गए और कह सकते हैं आप बहुत ही ए रिस्पॉन्सिबल तरीके से इन्होंने अपने चार्जेस को खुद ही प्रूव करके खुद ही ऑर्डर दे दिया मतलब ये खुद ही जज भी हो गए खुद ही लॉयर भी हो गए और इन्होंने ये भी बोल दिया कि अल्टीमेटली ये सेवन जितने भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस हैं जो भी मुझको कह रहे हैं कि समन करने के लिए असल में ये सभी दलित अट्रोसिटीज के तहत जो है गुनहगार है और इसीलिए इन सबको सजा भोगनी चाहिए ठीक है तो बहुत ही इरिस्पॉन्सिबल किसी का बिहेवियर था बहुत ही इरिस्पॉन्सिबल इनके ऑर्डर्स थे लेकिन देखा जाए भाई किसी भी हाई कोर्ट के जज को जेल जाते हुए देखना हमारे जुडिशियल सिस्टम के लिए बहुत बुरी बात है और बेसिकली देखा जाए तो ये बहुत ज़्यादा कह सकते हैं आप लो पॉइंट है हमारी जुडिशियल हिस्ट्री में यू नो सो अल्टीमेटली जस्टिस करनान वाज वेरी इमेच्योर इन हिज वेरियस ऑर्डर्स यू नो एंड यू नो बाय द वे he tried to in what you say he tried to uh, implicate the seven supreme court judges in the cases of uh, corruption and dalit atrocities etc etc you know and he just kept on insulting the judiciary again and again and by the way it is actually a very sad you know it's not only very sad it's actually uh, very shameful for all of us that our judiciary has got stained so badly and a high court judge has to be sentenced to 6 year jail by the supreme court now my dear friends let's take a look at question number 1 and i hope that you guys can answer it for sure and here comes question number 1 for you guys so why were the efforts of the supreme court to discipline justice cs karnan of the calcutta high court unfortunate ओके okay, भाई तो क्या लगता है आपको क्यों जो एफर्ट्स हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट के डिसिप्लिन करने के लिए जस्टिस सी कनान को आ, काफी अनफॉर्चुनेट लगते हैं आपको वेल माय डियर या अनफॉर्चुनेट लगा होगा ऑर्डर को यू गॉट थर्टी सेकेंड टू गिव मी दी आंसर या टाइम स्टार्ट्स नाउ हरी अप गाइस कमन कमान गाइस लास्ट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड लेफ्ट वॉट्स दी आंसर Last 10 seconds, guys. Hurry up. Okay, and the time is up. So, 
क्यों आपको ऐसा लगता है कि जो एफर्ट्स हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जस्टिस सी एस करनान को डिसिप्लिन करने के लिए वो काफी अनफॉर्चुनेट थे वो काफी दुखद से सो वाई डू यू थिंक दैट दी एफर्ट्स ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू डिसिप्लिन जस्टिस सी एस करनान होता कलकत्ता हाई कोर्ट व वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट वेल ऑप्शन वन इज इट एंडेड इन अ सिक्स मंथ प्रेजेंट टर्म फॉर द सी जे आई और द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया ऑन द चार्ज ऑफ कंटेम्प्ट ऑफ कोर्ट क्या ऐसा लिखा था प्रीवियस स्लाइड में नो इट वॉज नॉट ऑप्शन नंबर वन इज रॉन्ग Now, option number two is it ended in a six-month prison term for the seven judges on the charges of contempt of court. क्या ऐसा कुछ हुआ था? No, it was nothing like this. Then, option number three is it ended on a six-month prison term for Justice C S Karnan on the charge of contempt of court. Yes, this is the correct answer. And option number four is it ended in an eight-month prison term for the C J I. This is wrong. Option five is it ended in a six-year prison term for the Justice C S Karnan. This is also wrong. So I hope, my dear friends, that you are Are giving your answers below in the comment section, and you're writing like this. Question number one, the answer is three. Hai, hai? So whatever is your answer, just write the question number and just write the option number beside it. Okay. For example, for this particular question number, you must have given the answer question number one. In brackets three, okay, boy. So all those of you who chose option number three for this particular question, well done, my dear friends. You have done a good job, and this increase this opens your account as well, and you get one on one for sure. Now, can we please have the next part of this article? So. Therefore, it remains a pertinent or relevant question whether the court could not have waited for his imminent or about to happen retirement so that the country is spared the unseemly event of a high court judge being arrested while in office. अब देखो भाई, ultimately देखा जाए तो हमारे judiciary पे बहुत बड़ा धब्बा लगने जा रहा है कि एक high court का judge जो है उसको basically jail होने जा रही है और वो jail जाने वाला है despite in office. तो इसीलिए जो है ये सवाल उठ रहे हैं क्या Supreme Court उनके रिटायरमेंट के लिए जो कि बस होने ही वाली थी सीएस करनान की तो क्या सीएस करनान की रिटायरमेंट के लिए थोड़ा रुक नहीं सकता था ताकि कम से कम जब वो ऑफिस में नहीं रहते तब वो जाते जेल में यू नो सो अल्टीमेटली सी सिंस दिस दिस होल प्लॉट इज एक्चुअली अ ब्लॉट ऑन आर जुडिशरी हेंस हैड द इन फैक्ट द थिंग इज सी द क्वेश्चन इज बीइंग आस्क टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट दैट कुडंट हैव आर सुप्रीम कोर्ट वेटेड फॉर जस्टिन कर फॉर जस्टिस करनान्स रिटायरमेंट दैट व्हिच वाज अबाउट टू हैपन एंड कुडंट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैव यू नो सेंट हिम टू जेल आफ्टर हिज रिटायरमेंट well because this is going to be an extreme uh, what do you say this is going to be extremely painful and a stigma for our judiciary anyway now it was only last week that the court itself doubted whether the justice karnan was of sound moral and sound mental health ab obvious hai ki justice karnan ke jaise orders aa rahe the supreme court ke against mein jinki jiski unko authority hi nahi thi to in orders ko dekhte hue बेसिकली सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ही पूछा था बेसिकली सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ही कहा था कि इनका मानसिक एक बार बेसिकली इनकी मानसिक टेस्टिंग होनी चाहिए और ये मानसिक रूप से पगला तो नहीं गए हैं ये इस ये देखना चाहिए और इसकी टेस्टिंग होनी चाहिए नो सो इट वाज एक्चुअली लास्ट वीक ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द एब्जर्ड ऑर्डर्स पास बाय जस्टिस सी एस करनान द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एक्चुअली डाउटेड वेदर वेदर जस्टिस करनान वॉज एक्चुअली ऑफ साउंड ऑफ अ साउंड मेंटल हेल्थ और ही डिड ही ऑलरेडी नीड एनी A mental asylum anyways well after all it is highly unusual for a judge to charge other supreme court judges with committing atrocities against him and threatening to prosecute them and act that could only do harm unto him ओके okay, अब देखा जाए भाई ऑब्वियस है कि उनको आ, पागल वो तो नहीं क्या वो पागल तो नहीं हो गए हैं ये इसलिए पूछा जा रहा था सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये इसलिए जाना चाह रहा था क्योंकि कोई भी हाई कोर्ट का जज सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जज के खिलाफ ऑर्डर्स पास नहीं कर सकता है और नहीं करता भी है लेकिन और अगर ऐसा वो करेगा तो उससे उसी को नुकसान होगा और इसीलिए अल्टीमेटली बेसिकली सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये जानना चाहती थी कि क्या जस्टिस सी एस करनान पगला तो नहीं गए हैं यू नो सो अल्टीमेटली See the thing is that no high court justice passes orders against the supreme court and that is why the supreme court wanted to confirm that is uh, justice kanan mentally okay or has he gone mad anyways my dear friends i hope that you would have been able to get all the stuff seated in your brain ab aage ka istan samajhte hain as expected justice kanan declined to subject himself to a medical examination by a team of mental health professionals as directed by the court और राइट और बेसिकली जैसा कि हम उम्मीद करेंगे ही जस्टिस करनान ने जो है जो मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑर्डर किया था सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने वो नहीं करवाया और उन्होंने डिनाई कर दिया 
मतलब उन्होंने ये कहा कि मैं बिल्कुल ठीक हूँ मुझे कोई जरूरत नहीं किसी मेडिकल किसी भी मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल्स की ट्रीटमेंट की या एग्जामिनेशन की सो अल्टीमेटली यू नो एज एक्सपेक्टेड जस्टिस करनान ही एक्चुअली रिफ्यूज टू गो ऑन द गो ऑन द एनी का सॉर्ट ऑफ अ मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ मेंटल एक्सपर्ट्स विच वॉज एक्चुअली वॉट यू से विच वॉज एक्चुअली टू बी डन अंडर दी ऑर्डर ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट बट ही रिफ्यूज टू गो ऑन द एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ अ मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन नाउ हैविंग गॉन सो फार टू क्वेश्चन हिज मेंटल साउंडनेस इट वुड हैव बीन प्रैगमेटिक और प्रैक्टिकल टू लेट द things and be until his retirement due in a month ab jab aise ki jab supreme court janta tha ki in fact jab ye naubat aa gayi thi ki supreme court ko जस्टिस करनान के पागल होने का सवाल तक बेसिकली परेशान कर रहा था तो शायद सुप्रीम कोर्ट जो है एक महीने तक रुक सकता था उनके रिटायरमेंट के लिए उसके बाद उसको उनको जेल भेज सकता था या उनको सजा सुना सकता था यू नो सो सिंस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एक्चुअली इवन रेज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ जस्टिस करनान बीइंग मेंटली इल और नॉट बींग मेंटली साउंड इट कुड हैव वेटेड फॉर अ मंथ सो दैट जस्टिस करनान गेट्स रिटायर्ड एंड द एक्शन कुड हैव बीन टेकिंग अगेंस्ट हेम then after his retirement well after all justice kanan having been denied judicial work posed no threat to the administration of justice of obviously bhai he ultimately jab justice kanan ko jo hai unke bas supreme court ke order ke baad wo bhai koi judicial kaam nahi kar sakte the sath hi mein wo administration of justice ko koi khatra pose nahi kar sakte the to kya supreme court ruk nahi sakta tha ek mahine tak taki unka retirement ho jata aur uske baad unko sada sunata so ultimately you know after all justice kanan having been totally what to say he was actually discharged of judicial work and that's why he couldn't practice anymore he couldn't uh, what do you say he couldn't discharge any sort of judicial duties and you know and that is why he was totally uh, harmless to the administration of justice but still the supreme court sent him to jail immediately well let's take a look at question number 2 my dear friends and that is right here for you so whatever is the answer of question number 2 do write that below the video in the comment box okay to bhai below video ke niche jo comment box hai wahan par apna answer aap zarur likhiyega now what which of okay which of the following is true according to the passage to inme se kaun sa satya hai passage ke hisab se your time starts now you got 30 seconds hurry up guys come on give me the answer Just twenty seconds left, guys. Hurry up! Last ten seconds. Hurry up! ओके माय डियर फ्रेंड्स द टाइम इज अब तो देखिए समय जो है वो समाप्त हो चुका है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू अकॉर्डिंग टू द बस देखिए स्टेटमेंट ए जो है उसमें दिया है जस्टिस करनान द ऑर्डर feels that supreme court could have waited for karnan's retirement so that a judge in office is not seen going to jail ab dekha jaye to kuch aisa likha to tha passage mein we can consider this true now ab dekho b mein dekho kya likha hai b mein likha hai justice karnan was harmful for the supreme court despite being denied judicial work well nothing like this was written hence statement b is not true c mein dekho kya likha hai justice karnan tried to use the red card against the supreme court judges yes he did try to do that but anyways when it comes to the correct answer only a and c is the correct answer which is option number 5 so all those of you my dear friends who chose option number 5 you have done a good job because that is the correct answer now i just hope that you would have scored 2 of 2 for sure if it's not 2 of 2 even 1 of 2 is also a pretty cool score now let's take a look at the next article today and yes my dear friends is article ko aapko jo hai इस वीडियो को देखने के बाद पूरा पढ़ना है समझना है और फिर मुझे इसकी समरी जरूर भेजिएगा एट सौरभ डॉट डे एट द रेट अड्डा टू फोर सेवन डॉट कॉम सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स डू रीड दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल आफ्टर दिस वीडियो एंड देन री राइट अ समरी टू मी एट सौरभ डॉट डे एट द रेट अड्डा टू फोर सेवन डॉट कॉम एंड मेक श्योर यू यूज टू फिफ्टी टू थ्री हंड्रेड वर्ड्स एंड अरेंज दम प्रॉपरली इन फाइव टू सिक्स पैराग्राफ्स नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल फॉर द डे एंड हेर इट इज so the next article is duplication isn't synergy now see this particular article is regarding spark it's not it's not spark matlab wo nahi singerial spark nahi it's actually an organization which is supposed to oversee all the scientific operations in india theek hai to ab dekhte hain kya actually hai is particular article mein let's take a look at the first slide for this article now 
Spark, sustainable progress through application of research and knowledge is a proposed initiative to synergize or create or get, you know, creative cooperation, science activity in India. अब देखा जाए भाई जो स्पार्क है ये इसका बेसिकली फुल फॉर्म है सस्टेनेबल प्रोग्रेस थ्रू एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रिसर्च एंड नॉलेज इसको आप लोग नोट डाउन कर सकते हैं दिस आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम योर करंट अफेयर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो सस्टेनेबल प्रोग्रेस थ्रू एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रिसर्च एंड नॉलेज इज एक्चुअली अ प्रपोज इनिशिएटिव यानी कि अब तक आया नहीं है प्रपोज इनिशिएटिव है ताकि बेसिकली क्रिएटिव कोऑपरेशन हो सके साइंस एक्टिविटीज में हमारे देश के अंदर You know, so this particular organization, which is actually named this institute, which is named Sustainable Progress through Application of Research and Knowledge, do note this thing down. Do note the full form down because this can be an extremely important thing for um, for your current affairs. It is actually a proposed initiative, you know, to synergize or to get creative cooperation, science act between the science activities among the science activities in India. Now, a new, more efficient way of managing science is surely welcome. But one needs to put put in a lot of thought before taking any action. अब देखो क्या है अगर कोई नया तरीका है और कोई अच्छा तरीका है जो कि साइंस को मैनेज अच्छे से कर सकेगा अगर ऐसा कोई तरीका है तो बिल्कुल उसका स्वागत करना चाहिए लेकिन ऐसा कोई भी स्टेप लेने के पहले बहुत अच्छे से सोचना भी बहुत जरूरी है यू नो सो अ न्यू मोर एफिशिएंट वे ऑफ मैनेजिंग साइंस इज डेफिनेटली वेलकम बट वन डेफिनेटली मीन्स वी डेफिनेटली नीड टू पुट इन अलॉट ऑफ थॉट वी डेफिनेटली नीड टू थिंक अ लॉट अबाउट दिस एंड देन वी शुड टेक एनी एक्शन नाउ द एग्जिस्टिंग सिस्टम ऑफ science governance in the country are robust full of you know see the, the, there are actually full of uh, there are we actually in our nation there are a lot of institutes for science governance with departments reporting to ministries who in turn report the union cabinet ab dekha jaye to hamare desh mein pehle se hi bahut zyada har gali mein jo hai ek science institute lagbhag bana hua hai aur har science institute jo hai wo kisi na kisi basically in fact har science department jo hai wo kisi na kisi minister ko report karta hai aur jo minister hai wo union cabinet ko report karta hai in fact so there are a lot of science institutes in our nation you know and all the departments of sciences by the way they actually report to a particular minister who in turn reports to the union cabinet now there is no lack of sound advisory bodies and committees within these departments aur ye jitne bhi science department hamare desh mein hai unke andar bahut sare science ke regarding advisory bodies hain aur committees bhi hain you know so there is actually no lack of sound or proper uh, advisory bodies and committees within the departments of sciences of our nation now as for overarching or all inclusive bodies we already have the scientific advisory committee to the prime minister and the principal scientific advisor to the government of india all right ab dekha jaye to jahan tak ek overall chhat banane ki baat hai ki is particular umbrella organization ke andar baki sab scientific scientific organization aa jayenge to aisa already do chhate bani hui hai kyunki ek sanstha hai jiska naam hai scientific uh, scientific advisory committee aur ye prime minister ko report karti hai aur iske alawa ek principal scientific advisor bhi hai jo ki government of india ko report karti hai you know so ultimately there are already two umbrella organizations two existing umbrella organizations for the same departments and you know these organizations are scientific advisory committee which actually reports to the prime minister and the principal scientific advisor to the government of india now why are there two such similar bodies have any of their recommendations resulted in concrete actions in the end they have remained toothless or ineffective do we need a third such body pehli baat to inme se sirf ek body hi kafi thi lekin tab bhi do do umbrella organization do do chhate bana di gayi और साथ ही में लेकिन एक बात यह भी है कि ये जितने रिकमेंडेशन देती रहती हैं उनमें से ढंग से किसी को भी प्रॉपरली एग्जीक्यूट नहीं किया जाता है दूसरी बात ये और साथ ही में और देखा जाए तो बिल्कुल जब उनकी बातों को कोई सुनता ही नहीं है जब उनकी रिकमेंडेशन को एग्जीक्यूट ही नहीं किया जाता है तो उससे होता क्या है तो वो बिल्कुल एक फालतू किस्म की ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो चुकी है तो जब ऑलरेडी हमारे पास दो ऐसी फालतू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जिसकी कोई बात सुनता ही नहीं है तो हमें तीसरी की क्या जरूरत है राइट सो अल्टीमेटली सी वी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट वन ऑफ दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वुफ बट वी हैव टू ऑफ टू सच अम्ब्रेला ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड द मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट इनफैक्ट द फनी फैक्ट is that neither in fact none of their recommendations is actually uh, adhered to none of their recommendations is followed you know so they are nothing but just toothless tigers you know 
means it doesn't mean that their teeth has fallen you know it doesn't mean like that it means that they are totally ineffective because nobody listens to their recommendations so they are totally useless now do we need a third such useless organization now my dear friends let's take a look at question number three which is waiting for you and which is a para jumble so here comes the royal rumble para jumble for you now my dear friends we actually have a six sentence for you so you got 90 seconds to solve this six sentence your time starts now hurry up guys come on 90 seconds solve this Seventy five seconds left, guys. Hurry up. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Sixty seconds more. What's the answer? Forty-five seconds more, guys. Hurry up! What's the answer? Have you arranged it? Thirty seconds more, guys. Come on, arrange it properly. You can write your arrangement in the comment box. Twenty seconds left. Have you given your arrangement in the comment box? Just 10 seconds more. Arrange quickly. Come on. Write it in the comment box below the video. 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Now stop arranging. I hope that you would have arranged it correctly. Now can we please have the answer and the answer is... Well, it is E A F B D C. So the correct order, by the way, the correct arrangement was E A F B D C. ठीक है भाई? तो जो सही order था इस particular पर जंबल का वो था E A F B D C. अब देखो भाई E जो है spark, which is sustainable progress through application of research and knowledge. Is a proposed initiative to synergize science activity in India. A new, more efficient way of managing science is surely welcome. But one needs, one needs what? One needs to put in a lot of thought before taking any action. The existing systems of science, all right, what about them? Governance, the science governance in this country are robust with the departments reporting to ministers, all right, who in turn report to the union cabinet. There is no lack of sound advisory board. Bodies and committees within these departments. So I hope, my dear friends, that you were able to get the correct para jumble, the correct order of the para jumble. Or agar maan lete hain, aapne pura para jumble sahi nahi kiya hai, but you were able to get half of the sentence. Let's just say that you were able to get four of the sentences correctly. Agar aap maan lete hain ki four sentences aapne sahi se order kar liye the, sahi se basically arrange kar liye the, to aap apne aapko aadha marks de sakte hain. So I hope, my dear friends, that you guys would have scored three or three for sure. If it's not like that, don't lose heart even two on three is also a pretty cool score now let's take a look at the next part of this article so the science department are too different from one another to come under the purview of one overarching body like spark ab dekha jaye bhai तो क्यों दो ऐसी मैं आपको याद होगा मैंने आपसे कहा था प्रीवियस स्लाइड को देखते हुए कि देखो एक तो बेसिकली एडवाइजर था जो कि गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के लिए था और दूसरा जो बॉडी थी वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर को रिपोर्ट करती थी दो बॉडीज क्यों क्योंकि उनके अंदर अलग अलग तरीके के साइंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आते थे ठीक है तो अब अल्टीमेटली जब हम जानते हैं कि साइंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बहुत सारी वेराइटी वाले हैं तो सिर्फ एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसका नाम होगा स्पार्क उसके अंदर हम हर तरह की साइंस बॉडी कैसे क्लब कर सकते हैं यू नो सो अल्टीमेटली वी had any if you guys remember we had discussed about in fact we actually discussed two separate bodies right there was an advisor to the prime minister and there was also an advisor to the government of india see there was two separate bodies because there are actually a lot of science institutions you know and you know they are all uh, what do you say there actually there are variety there's a variety of science institutions in our nation so but how can we club all the scientific institutions all the science based institutions under one particular roof called spark you know so 
The Department of Science and Technology and Department of Biotechnology are purely funding and outreach organizations. Now, if you see, there is basically the Department of Science and Technology and the Department of Biotechnology is based on the funding based organization. Hai. All right, so ultimately, uh, the Department of Science and Technology and the Department of Biotechnology are actually totally based on funding and outreach organizations, my dear friends. The Council of Scientific and uh, Industrial Religious, which is CSIR, has a special and tricky mandate which involves interaction with industry. Now, if you look at CSIR, this is a very tricky kind of mandate, a very tricky kind of work. And ultimately, if you look at it, they industry to Lagatar interaction karna parta hai. You know, the work of CSR includes regular interactions with the industry, by the way. The Department of Atomic Energy, Defense Research and Development Organization, and Department of Space and others are into mission mode projects. Ab dekha jai, to department basically aapka jo Department of Atomic Energy hai, jo DRDO hai, to Department of Space hai, ye basically dekha jai, ye sabi mission mode kisam ki organizations hai, or ye particular mission par hi kam karte hai. You know, and in fact, Department of Atomic Energy, the Department, the Defense Research, the DRDO, and the Department of Space, and other a lot of you know a lot of such organizations. They actually are a mission mode merits, and they actually work on particular missions only. Now, I hope that you have been able to grab all of this stuff so far. Or up to the mark, my bad, raha hoga. Ab chahe to video kinche comment section mein likh bhi sakte hain. Bad raha hai sir. Okay. Ab aage dekhte hain. There is hardly a government department or ministry that science does not touch. देखा जाए तो भाई हमारे यहाँ भले ही जितने नेतागिरी क्यों ना हो लेकिन कोई भी ऐसा डिपार्टमेंट नहीं है जहाँ पर साइंस की पहुँच ना हो you know so ultimately there is not a single government department or ministry that science has not uh, touched or that remains untouched by science now reality of indian science up indian science ki jo asliyat hai wo bhi dekh lete hain thoda sa yahan par the goals of spark seem to be most closely attuned or in tune with niti aayog and it might well be effective only within this parent organization taking inputs from various quarters such as industries, the ministries themselves and NGOs to make proposals, some of which could move forward to become major initiatives. Now, let's see, the line of the line of the spark and with it, it can be that the line of the line of the spark is only for the line of the spark is a very good job. All right. और साथ ही में भाई इसका जो काम रहेगा वो अलग अलग बेसिकली चीजों जैसे कि अलग अलग क्वार्टर से जैसे कि इंडस्ट्रीज से और एनजीओ से इनपुट लेकर के प्रपोजल लेकर के कुछ आउटकम निकाल के दिखाए इनिशिएटिव्स का तो ये नीति आयोग के लिए तो बहुत यूजफुल है बट बाकी के लिए उतना यूजफुल है कि नहीं ये हम लोग को देखना पड़ेगा यू नो सो द गोल्स ऑफ स्पार्क एक्चुअली दे सीम टू बी इन सिंक विथ नीति आयोग यू नो सो द प्राइमरी टास्क अंद विच Oh, see what the time the primary task of spark under niti ayog would be to take uh, proposals from ngos and other industries and other organizations and then work on some sort of an a uh, major initiative as well so it is pretty much okay it is pretty uh, what do you say it is pretty uh, profitable for niti ayog but is it profitable for other science organizations that we'll have to work out so my dear friends that was all from this particular article in this particular analysis now you guys need to go back read this article some Summarize it, understand it, and send the summary at sorab.day at redubazavan.com. Now, see, me just have said itna hi tha is particular article me. Ab baaki aapko hi karna hai ki aapko samjhna hai is article ko, usko vapas jo hai summarize karna hai, usko mujhko bhej dena hai at sorab.day at redubazavan.com pe. Or ek baat yaad rahe ki aapko 250 se 300 words hi use karne hai, and you have to arrange these words in five to six paragraphs. So do use 250 to 300 words only and arrange them properly. In five to six paragraphs, because this is the proper format of writing as an essay in your descriptive examinations. Now, can we please have the question number four for you guys? And here it is. So, what is the theme of the passage? So, my dear friends, what do you guys think? What is the theme of the passage? Your time starts now. 30 seconds, guys. Hurry up. Come on guys, last 20 seconds, what's the answer? Last 10 seconds guys, hurry up. Come on guys, hurry up, what's the answer? Uh, the time is up. So, 
तो थीम देखना था वी हैव टू चेक आउट द थीम ऑफ द पैसेज वेल ऑप्शन वन इज द अनवांटेड स्पार्क द अनवांटेड स्पार्क ओके वेल यू नो दिस कैन बी द आंसर एनीवेज अब देखो नंबर टू में देखते हैं द मच नीडेड स्पार्क सो डू वी नीड स्पार्क क्या लगता है आपको देख करके पैसेज को डू वी नीड स्पार्क नहीं उतना नहीं नीड है ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इज साइंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन इंडिया सो येस इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट इनफैक्ट अबाउट साइंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के बारे में काफी बातचीत कही गई थी कैन बट इफ विल हैव अ बेटर ऑप्शन देन विल चूज दैट देन साइंस एंड मिनिस्ट्रीज इन इंडिया वेल साइंस डू इनफैक्ट एवरी डिपार्टमेंट एवरी मिनिस्ट्री डू डज हैव अट यू से इनफैक्ट साइंस कनेक्ट सो This can be well. See, the thing is, there is only a single part of our passage talked about science and ministries. Hence, I don't think this can be the theme of the passage. Option number five, me dekho diya hua hai. Please, thora of science organizations. So yes, we do have a lot of science organizations in our nation. But when we take a look, close look at the options, two options. Option number one, the unwanted spark, and option number three, science organizations in India. They stand out. And since primarily this whole passage has been. Opposite to spark, I'll say option number one is the correct answer. And all those of you who chose option number one as the correct answer, you have done a good job because that is the correct answer. I hope that you have taken the correct answer. And 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 you have taken the So choose the synonym recalcitrant का synonym आपको choose करना है my dear friends from all these options your time starts now 15 seconds choose quickly ten seconds left hurry up five seconds more what's the correct synonym so time is up my dear friends recalcitrant synonym would be well before that let's just talk about the antonyms of recalcitrant recalcitrant ka aapko matlab aapko yaad hoga who is very uncooperative jo bilkul bhi saath na de cooperation na kare to jo uske antonym ho jayega wo ho jayega amenable ya compliant ya fir obedient yani ki the antonyms of recalcitrant would be amenable or compliant or obedient but the synonym of recalcitrant would be obstinate my dear friends so all those of you who chose d you have a good job because that is the correct answer can we please have question number 6 next one so choose the antonym for the word abysmal so my dear now my dear friends abysmal uh, antonym you have to be choose you have to choose so choose the antonym for abysmal and you got 30 seconds your time starts now hurry up come on guys Come on guys hurry up okay i can see a lot of people okay they are logged in and they are also uh, watching that's very good lekin some people are trying to give some sort of strange advertisements and i have to block them first so can we please block them quickly and they have been successfully blocked so my dear friends now So we had to choose uh, an antonym for abysmal. By the way, now if we just take a look over here. So by the way, I think uh, infinite may be a particular angle of uh, what do you say abysmal because from the meaning of extending deeply, that could be an antonym. But definitely, I don't think it is an antonym from every end. But still, all those of you who chose B. I can give this answer to you because, in the sense of extremely deep, all right, only then abysmal antonym could be infinite. Else, not usually. So, my dear friends, these 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 are very tricky questions. And all those of you who chose infinite or option B, you have done a good job because that can be the correct answer in one way. Now, can we please have question number seven? 
And question number seven is, so attuned, this tooth is synonym for attuned, my dear friends. You got absolutely 30, oh, 15 seconds, your time starts now. Hurry up, guys. Synonym for attuned. Five seconds left. Uh, answer quickly. <coughs> Time's up. So, if you can see, if you can see, then antonym will be attuned to disarrange or refuse or disagree. The words disarrange or refuse or disagree would be the antonym for attuned, but the synonym for attuned is going to be accommodate, my dear friends. So, all those of you who chose option A, accommodate, for attuned's uh, synonym, you have done a good job because that is the correct answer. Now, can we please have the last question for the day? And the last question is, well, it is pragmatic, my dear friends. So, choose the antonym for the word pragmatic and your time starts now. Hurry up, guys. Come on. 15 seconds, quickly. 10 seconds more. Five seconds. <coughs> Time's up. So, pragmatic means logical, right? So, it means logical or it means rational or it means practical. But when we check out the option, the synonym for pragmatic are, uh, the synonyms are hard-headed or sensible or realistic. If we talk about synonyms of pragmatic, then they will be hard-headed or sensible or realistic. But the antonym, my dear friends, of pragmatic, that's going to be irrational. And all those of you who chose irrational, you have done a good job because that is a good score. That is the correct answer. So I hope that you guys would have scored 8 of 8 for sure. And if it's not 8 on 8, even 6 on 8 and above is also a very beautiful score. Now let's take a look at the other very important articles of the Hindu editorial today. And the other articles are... Well, the first one is now playing in Karnataka. Well, my dear friends, this is based on the political uh, issues of Karnataka. Then option, uh, then the second one is chasing peace. This is based on the, uh, what do you say... Um, De-escalation of uh, conflict in Syria. Okay, so this is Syria pe based. Hai. Then the third one is pacifism and real politics. Well, my dear friends, this is based on the political reform of the constitution amendment of Japan. Okay, so this is Japan ke constitution amendment hai, us par based. Hai. Then Mr. Mandel, I presume this is based on caste-based politics primarily in UP and Bihar. So ultimately, to the last aapka article, hai, Mr. Mandel, I presume this is caste-based politics in UP and Bihar. Ke. So my dear friends, that was all in this session of the Hindu editorial analysis. I hope that you loved this session for sure. And do give us your feedback in the comment section below the video. Until we meet the next time, peace out.